I'm Dan Tobin Smith. I'm a still life photographer based in London. I specialise in, I suppose, high production still life and a lot of stuff to do with perspective, so anamorphous, also stuff with effects, whether it's liquids or powders or actions, pyro, explosives, stuff like that. The inks execution, we basically came up with this idea of using a cylindrical weather tank, which is a rotating tank, and then we put cold ice in a cylinder in the centre of the tank, and then after a while you get these interesting moving currents, and then we introduce the ink and it kind of moves throughout the tank in interesting ways. We had a colour scheme that we were sticking to for this, which was a kind of minty grey, blue, greens, and so we kind of stayed around that world. It's one of those things that's so varied, they do one thing slightly differently and it'll change everything get different textures and keep shooting it, keep shooting it. It's quite hypnotising looking at it and looking at these things kind of develop and we've got some beautiful stuff. With the paint, strip pigment kind of execution, we wanted to kind of bring something a little bit to the pigment, some, some kind of action so that we could get some varied effect and also so that the thing happened and you couldn't really see the hand of the person that created it. The first time we were hitting it from underneath just to get all the kind of pigment moving upwards into the air and mixing and then we freeze that moment as it's all mixing together. For the next rig, we use basically a jet of air coming from the centre where the iris is, and that jets outwards in every direction, kind of straight out, and creates these kind of plumes and quite directional streams of paint and pigment mixing together. You do get some lovely stuff. With the pencils execution, this is obviously a more of an in-camera shot. We kind of put it together and then just shoot it. Is consisting of about two, three thousand pencils. We kind of created a colour map for them, and then from there we put all the stuff together, which took a few people a good couple of days of just solidly laying them out where they needed to go. It was about numbers and colours just coming up with really nice design, which Joe did, and then trying to build that design into something where you could feel that it was still a pencil, but it was also an eye. What we're really trying to do is get that kind of lovely organic nature of an eye, that detail that you find in an eye, but trying to get it within an image just using these limited materials. And they've got some really, really beautiful stuff.